got to take a look at Jamal's deck temporarily, and it looks really strong. Well, a man playing unlimited basics must have a strong deck. Four Sylvan Advocates, four Zulaport Cutthroats. We, we got a lot of good really early creatures. Four Catacomb Sifters, phenomenal in a matchup like this. All right, Jamal on the play with an Aether Hub. We don't have any turn ones in this deck. So any of our tap lands would have been great. So I'm assuming we have a bunch of basics after this. And a Bowmap Courier. That's great. That's a one. great turn one for Kevin. Yeah, this card can just be uh, terrifying in the late game when it's you can just sacrifice it and draw an entire new hand. Yeah. It's like we got... Slow start from Jamal. Uh, he does have a Grasp. I don't think he'll fire that off here, but we'll see. No. It, we're we're going to see what the turn gives us. A one power creature is not much. Oh, God. Two another. one power creatures is a decent amount. If we follow up a third... Uh, okay, two power. Apprentice. Okay. All right, so Apprentice is probably going down, but I don't know how I feel about the double courier possibly drawing us fresh hands. Yeah, it's definitely a scary prob probability, and Jamal opts to not use his mana there. He really needs that. Catacomb Okay, Sifter okay. does a great, great job here. great in this spot. Yep. We can chump the Apprentice very well. We can start blocking and killing the couriers. That's why I, I think I really like... Jamal in this matchup because he's got such great early creatures in the Sylvan Advocates nice and the two, Catacomb yeah, Sifters. Nice and then he's got a lot of three power creatures that can just battle really well with the early stuff. Mm -hmm. But any unlicensed disintegrations out of Kevin would be Yeah, that card's just a great. huge beating. Looks like he doesn't have it, though. Alright, key to the city. Alright, we're gonna actually make our Inventor's Apprentice unblockable, pitching an extra land. Is that what Key does? It makes the creature itself unblockable? Yeah, it does. Okay, I thought Key was and then when you creature can't block. No, that's uh, Pia's ability. Okay. And when you untap, you can pay two and draw a fresh card. So it's some uh, expensive-ish looting, but it has a nice ability. Got a Dustwatch Recruiter coming down. Okay. So Jamal has stabilized pretty nice, basically forcing Kevin at this point, if he wants to get in damage, to yeah. use the key. Let's see if he opts to uh, draw the card here. But we still have Grasp of Darkness. He does have a Grasp, and he, he has the ability to... We're not going to draw? Nope, he uh, he doesn't want to pay the two. He must have uh, bigger plans for the turn. Yeah, which at, at turns like this, I can understand. Yeah, it's more in the late game where you... Pushing through only two damage is not what I want to start discarding a card for. Yeah, well, four mana... Uh, all right. Fleet Wheel Cruiser Fleet Wheel Cruiser good. is pretty good here, for sure. Giving that one unblockable... Yeah. That Luckily, is a very quick claw. However, Jamal, yeah, Jamal has the answer. Has the Grasp of the Darkness in hand. We're going to discard our final card, which Nice, is and great. he even gets the two for one. So yeah. Jamal has to use up his energy, but not a huge issue here. His I'm, mana seems I'm pretty, pretty okay with using my energy to get rid of two cards out of Kevin's Oh, absolutely. Hands. Absolutely. Uh, and this we will can be a chump turn block for, yeah, everything. This will, yeah, this turn for sure, I would imagine Kevin's going to use the mana on his untap. But, uh, yep. Yeah, Jamal's no hand is man. stacked. Here comes a... He at least has another Catacomb Sifter. Yep. Oh, man. What... Is that... Corrupted noxious, Courtyard? Yeah, what, what land is that? Looks like we're coming down. Ooh, that no, Brood Monitor. Corrupted Crossroads is the land. Yeah, corrupted Crossroads. And yeah, Brood Monitor, that is Getting tough three for Eldrazi to get signs. through. Like, yeah, I think we start... I, I think they attack... No, no good attacks yet. No, think. okay, so your Avengers Brent is still a 2-3. Yeah, it is still a 2-3. But if we find an Eldrazi Displacer... This actually seems like the kind of game... Jamal is almost never going to have great attacks, but he has the inevitability here that just yeah. once he draws... A few more of his combo pieces. That should just be that. Yeah. If we uh, if we draw an Eldrazi, oh, did he displacer. not even? Yeah, he didn't even activate the ability. Maybe he Probably was forgot. hoping to top deck another four drop, at, or more likely he just forgot. Yeah. So now we're just gonna push through two here. Looks like. Yeah, it's, it is sort of hidden. It is sort of flavor text on the bottom of that card. I didn't realize it at first either that you can draw the card. Ooh. Okay. I like this. Oh, he's gonna draw. Give draw the courier hand. unblockable. Get in for a single damage, okay, sack it, and then draw the three cards. Sure. He'll probably do it end of turn. Yep. I, I could have definitely seen a case to be made for doing it right there, to maybe play a two or three drop, but okay. uh, 
doing it under turn Ooh, to have. watch recruiter flipping is great. Noxious Gear Hulk off oh, the man. top. Yeah, Gear Hulk just a good attacker here. Uh, I don't think we're caring too much about the destroying so of the Gear apprentice. Hulk kills the apprentice. We gain life, and our attacks are back on the table. Yeah, that does turn the attacks back on for sure. Even with a draw three here out of Kevin, I, th I still think Jamal is in incredible shape. Oh yeah. Jamal still is a very high life total. We have Enoxious Gear Hulk, hopefully gonna come down, gain us some life. Costing one less. Paying a life on the corrupted crossroads, I'm assuming, for black. Um yes, that one is pay one life for Yep. Alright, so we're gonna go to thirteen. Gear Hulk's gonna come down. Oh, Gear Hulk's hmm. not a colorless card. Oh, it's it not a not, card with Devoid. Yes. Okay. See, that's the interesting thing about this format right now. The Gear Hulks almost seem like they should be colorless like the Eldrazi, yep. but they are not. So, okay, he did have the requisite mana, though. Yeah, he, he just had to use the energy off the Aether yeah. Hub, which is fine. Though now double black is going to be an issue for him in the yeah. upcoming turns. We don't that, have many double black spells. Yeah, that's about I guess we have it. a decent amount. We have the Kalidus, the Grasp, and the Noxious Gear Hulks. Yeah, this man is a little shaky, but when he gets it to work, it should be okay. Yeah. Plus, he can have a bit, uh, you know, a bunch of scraps with the Catacomb Sifter if he needs it. Yeah, we have very good attacks at this point. A 3-3, three, three, a 3-3, three, three, and a 2-3 all able to come through. Mm -hmm. It's actually a two-turn clock if no blocks are made. Yeah, I guess Jamal just swings all out here. My guess. I probably... I leave the Eldrazi Scions back. Uh... Now he's coming in. No, Get aggro. In. I like okay, it. We, yeah, we, have we got the 5 4, and we're assuming that that second bow mat's getting sacked, anyways. Yeah. We may just block with this one and sack. I guess we'll see. Yeah. It seems a little loose to me. I think that must be what he's about to do, though. Yeah. If he's making this block. See, this is kind of why I liked sacking that first bow mat. Uh, whoa. He flipped the card by accident. Did you see what it was? I did not. It looked like a black card. But there actually aren't any black cards in this deck, are there? May have just been a land. All right. Maybe just a swamp. It's like he's sacking the second bow mat. Oh, the second one had actually some reasonable spells. Are you supposed to discard your hand? You are supposed to discard the hand. Did he not discard the one? I don't think he discarded the. He one just card. didn't discard the swamp. All right. We'll uh, we'll make sure that for the next game that at least happens. Uh, I don't think here it's going to matter, but uh, we do want to make sure that the board state is correct. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely do discard your hand. Yeah. Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll we'll mention that to the table spotter. Uh, again, it doesn't look like it's going to matter here, but... You know, Jamal just has an enormous board here. Well, let's not jump to conclusions. I think it was probably just a misstep. But we'll yeah. get it fixed out. He just missed the discard. He... Fr I I don't know why he missed it. He probably just forgot it. I think he missed it because the first one he had no cards in hand, so it was yeah. in his head that he didn't have to discard. But uh, this this looks like Jamal's likely on a path for victory in this 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 turn or the next. All right, we're gonna sack to Scry here from Jamal. Oh, uh, when he keeps it on top, that's not a that's not a good sight from Kevin's side. Yeah, one uh, one Eldrazi Displacer really puts this game uh, away. I mean, Dis Displacer is insane in this deck, and we don't even have the harmonica now. But we got a two mana Sifter. That's always a nice. Now we're paying a life off Crossroads, so we got a third Sifter. All right, we are sifting. That, that is... a three two that can't block is. <laughs> Not the most impressive defender here. Uh, no. So we're coming in for 8, 11, 12. Uh, thir that should be lethal exactly. In yeah. Right? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep. I, we probably should be battling with the other Catacomb Sifter as well. Yeah, I mean, I, I, we're going to go ahead and discard a Fiery Temper, so the game is going to last another turn. That is... If he had attacked with the two other sifters, he would still go to one. It wouldn't have been game. But, uh, yeah. I, again, I don't think that there is uh, 
Yeah, I think uh, anything out of Kevin's that was deck. also the wrong target, I believe, for the fiery temper. You definitely go after the brood monitor. Yeah, that's where the combo goes. But again, at this point, I, I think it's kind yeah. of uh, it's in the books. I guess it might be fine because we're gonna flip the dust watch recruiter back, and then we can start digging for the other two combo pieces. Yeah. I mean, three scry triggers off of uh, Catacomb Sifter too, no less. Oh, Alexi has a, uh, or Axel has a good point. I don't think he did sack them at the same time, though. I yeah. think it was in uh, a sequence. Uh, it was out of sequence, but that is a, a good point. If yeah. you do it both at the same time, you would draw all four. All right, so that's going to be game one of the books for Jamal on Abzan Panharmonicon Combo. Panharmonic Combo? I, I don't know if that works. That worked for me. All right, it's close enough. Yeah. I uh, that would just showed the power of the deck minus the combo. You know, we're just yeah. I mean, it's just a play pretty... green mid range deck. Yeah. There. And, uh, I mean, I would say that the uh, Kevin's draw was a little suboptimal, and maybe he played it a little bit poorly. But uh, again, as you mentioned, some of these creatures are just going to be incredibly hard for these. The catacomb sifter by with. itself. Yeah. Just blocks half of his deck insanely well. Yep. So uh, maybe we take a look at sideboard, see what uh, is going to change out of these players' decks. Uh, so we have Transgress the Mind, Collective Brutality, Chandra Torch, Defiance, Lightning Axe, Weaver of Lightning, Reckless Books Wrecker, and Magmatic Chasm. So I really that like is, the Magmatic Chasm. That's the only way he's pushing through damage, right? Yeah. <laughs> so like we get through some of the early damage, use our key a few times, and then Magmatic Chasm to be able to get through. Mm -hmm. I like the Transgress the Minds a lot. I like the Chandra, but I don't know how much I want to try to fight the mid-range fight yeah, against that's the, that's the, the better mid-range deck. A deck that literally has inevitability in yeah. the form of a combo. I do like the Lightning Axe. I might like Definitely. the Reckless Bushwhackers, but I'm not sure how much we're able to push through damage against yeah. this kind of deck. All right, so out of Jamal's sideboard, is Appetite, is this the Fog? Is that what we... Appetite for the Unreal? Is that? I, no, Appetite for the Unreal is, is the, the three destroy mana? an artifact, okay, so gain two life card. I don't think that would come in even against Bomats uh, and Copters, but it wouldn't be the craziest thing. Well, we got Bomats, Copters, and Scrap Heaps. Okay, Scrap Heaps so is the greatest of card, 12, too. right? Yeah. And we probably have four two. Bomats. Uh, does it have the we four mana guy? The token off of Pia, Scrap Heap Scrounger, Schmuggles, Copters, and Fleet Wheel Cruiser. Okay, so and probably, Key to the City. Yeah, it probably so does. We come actually in. do have a lot of targets. Yeah, so probably some appetites out of the board for him. And, uh, maybe yeah, I, Stasis Snare, but I would think that's probably it. I don't think we want the Warrior Whales. No, I think I like the Stasis Snare. Okay. Uh, just because Scrap Heap has the recursion ability. It's definitely better against Scrap Heap. So, for sure. you know, to be able to get rid of the Scrap Heap forever is great. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's just a removal spell, instant speed. Yeah, it looks like the most of his other sideboard slots are devoted more towards the mid range yeah, and control. Warping, warping wheel is probably fine. It's reasonable. It kills uh, some amount of stuff. We get it rid counters of counters sorceries, counters incendiary flow. We can get rid of early inventors apprentice that don't have artifacts. Yeah, Bomat. Bomat couriers to get rid of them forever. Um, it might be a little there narrow was another though. Another one I thought. It kills the, the Pia token. Yeah, that a little narrow as we agreed. Yeah. Counter, counter sorceries. Counters flow. Counters flow. It Boom, does counter flow. Kind of transgress the minds too. I'm probably not bringing it in. No. Appetite for the Unreal. Yeah, I like the Unreal and the Stasis Snares. I think yep. that's the only real changes I would make. Probably get rid of some of the. Really Actually, though, he already main decks Deck and Stone, and that's even better against the Scrap True. Heaps. So I, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, we might just not need it. Again, yeah. I mean, his deck seems really well positioned in this matchup. Yeah. I want to see a Panharmonica. Absolutely. Jamal I want to see the combo. Us. I want to see Panharmonicon. Or One the combo. time for the stream. Or both. Yeah. If he has the Panharmonicon and the combo, I'll be happy, yeah. man. Because then we we don't even need the Brood Monitor if we mm. have the Panharmonicons. We just do the Catacombs. Sure. Even Infinite Scries. I want to get that going. There's a lot of pomade on this stream. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny because it's exactly what I use, That's, too. Uh, yeah, I got a bottle, bottle of that stuff yesterday. Do you need another bottle tomorrow? To, and the next day. Okay. Bottle of it. So there's a lot more in the back than you can see, because I don't turn my head far enough, but this, it goes down. Not quite as much as Max does. Max, We're the going back for the of Max flow. has the best. We're going that, for the that's, flow. That's the best part. We're going for the flow. But. Yep, should be back to game two. Yeah, to brought to you board. by your local ex. <laughs> <laughs> But um, no, I uh, I, I like I like some of the cuts that people got nowadays. You know, the style. It's 
to to watch barbers do work on some other person's head is insane. Some of these barbers are crazy these days. Like, just the way they go through like shaping, trimming up the beards. Like, I, I think it's great. Wow. All right, here we All right, are. Here we are two. back. Jamal, be our hero. Show us, Panharmonica show us how awesome time. it is. I think we got some evolving wilds and a grasp of darkness today. We got the swamp too, which is great. I think we have a dustwatch recruiter. So, I think um, I think this is where it's going to get a bit awkward for us. What lands we want to fetch with our evolving wilds? Because we have the dustwatch recruiter wanting green, and we have the grasp of darkness wanting black. His mana actually looks pretty reasonable, though. It does. So Kevin with no one drop uh, th because of the double tap land. Okay. Oh no, actually he was able to, all right, transgress. transgress. So he transgress brought in the, is an okay start. But I don't think Jamal has much of hits. Probably not finished. Duskwatch, it looks like, or is he playing Lambholtz too? No, a Duskwatch Recruiter. Okay. Lambholtz, you know, that, that he's fallen from the spotlight. Yeah. He was a really good defensive card last standard, but... But now, the you know, one red vehicles decks have a lot of three yeah, power creatures they that do. can just battle with it really easily. And DePaula turning all your twos into threes already. Yeah. Alright, so... We've got an... Yeah, that's an Apprentice. A, a, a meager one-two. Yeah. Not uh, not as good as it once was. Is that a Kalidus off the top? Uh, that card is nigh unbeatable. Kevin does have a Lightning Axe, but again, I don't think he's going to play this mid-range removal game. No. You know, that's not where this deck wants to be. Uh, Absolutely not. When I lose to Black Red, it's when they have the early start and then finish you off with the burn. Yep, not, the unlicensed. Yes, unlicensed and just incendiary flow to the face. That's never a great feeling. Is that just untap, pass, back? Jamal. Oh, no, no, okay, so what did we... I'm not sure how the... Oh, okay, we tap three lands to activate the Dustwatch Recruiter to so draw we'll a card. So we go searching. Yeah, sure. Yep. Uh, yep. And that was the card that was... Uh, no, that... The Displacer was exiled with the Transgress. Yeah, the that Transgress line. I think that was okay. the actual only hit in Jamal's hand. Kevin's deck is actually quite good. Uh, he just hasn't had the strongest draws, in my opinion. Yeah. The deck is actually quite good. Here okay, comes a Chandra, the so now he gets to pop off the... Uh, the Duskwatch leaving Jamal with nothing on the board. Yeah, I think... Oh, is he about to plus here? I think it starts at four. Okay, yeah, he hasn't shown. Okay, yep. okay. Makes yeah. sense. Now Get we're getting in for that. one. Getting in for one. See, so this is this is why I said I like the Chandra, because it can help push through damage. It can help do some of the things that you want it to do. But if you have an empty board, you're just trying to play the mid-range game against a deck that's better at doing that. And yep. now we see the Kalidus Though, come down. You know, maybe I was wrong, because Kevin does have the answer here, and now he's going to get to untap with a Planeswalker. He does have a, a Lightning Axe in hand, and we'll see if he has a good card to he's discard got two to two Lightning Axes in hand, it looks like. So, maybe here you would want to start with plusing the Chandra. Ooh, oh, I'm unlicensed. And unlicensed uh, you see, I, wanna, I would want to plus the, the Chandra first here, in yeah. case you hit a... Uh, oh, maybe, he, hit he, wants, maybe he wants to hit the, the mana? Okay. Well, that, yeah, you actually cannot play the mana off. It has to be a spell. Yeah, so well, the, I, I meant he wants the mana ability off of Chandra, plusing to get the two red so he can cast another three drop spell. Sure. Oh, but yeah, it looks like we'll get in for another one, one point here. of damage. But See, yeah, Jamal is entirely fine with all of these trades because the Chandra doesn't threaten all that much at the moment other than drawing an extra card. Mm -hmm. And Jamal is able to play the game that he wants to play at the speed he wants to play it. All right, another Dusk Watch, and we're just going to pass it back. You know, maybe I was quick to jump on, on the bandwagon for Jamal's side. I think Kevin is in great shape here. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I would recommend is if he could line up that Planeswalker and the creature. It's tilting me, but... <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, it, it looks like he's in a good spot. So we're just going to two Jamal again after exiling another land. And, you know, he's just got removal for days here. And he really he, does. He would like a little bit more pressure, for sure. Yeah, like hitting a right, creature we're gonna, off of this. All right, we're going to flow. He's just all in the... That's our, our invitational card right now, the, the incendiary flow. Yeah. The Kerwin's flow. Uh, but yeah, 
We really just need to get some more pressure, and then Kevin will be in a great spot. Yeah, one of these Chandra Pluses hitting a creature, especially like a Flea Wheel Cruiser or mm -hmm. something like that, would be phenomenal. Yep. Turn the the uh, Apprentice into a real threat and then start actually. Jamal gets a Forest off of this. I'm not sure how much I like that, but I guess if we have another Dust Watch in hand, it looks like we don't. He does, yeah. Then we get to be able to cast it and... Okay, well, uh, this placer it? could be a real nightmare for Kevin. Oh, we're just we going, just we're going big, it. okay. Uh, this is actually a tough card for Kevin to deal yeah. with. He has no ways to cleanly deal with. Even le if he gets rid of the 3-3, three, three, these 3-1 three one ones are actually a big issue. They're going to yep. start pressuring the Planeswalker, and that 1-2 does an okay job of blocking, but, you know, suiciding some Scions is not the worst thing. All right, Fiery Temper. I would imagine that's going to take care of the... Brood Monitor. The brood Monitor, yeah. But again, you know, it's almost like Kevin's just getting stuck with too much removal. He needed some pressure here. Yeah. And he would have really... If he had hit one or two creatures off these Chandras, I think he would have taken this game really over. But Ooh, okay. We going upstairs? He, w he went upstairs. We are going upstairs, boys. Interesting. So I guess this is five damage on the turn. And we've got Lightning Axe. No, you don't get hand. the two damage once you cast it. Oh, you it's don't? only if you don't cast it. Interesting. So that's only plus one damage. So now we're just going to okay. pitch that. He Axe does still get to protect the, ch the Chandra by leaving the, the pr apprentice yeah. back. But we have, I think we have a Grasp. Ooh, there's oh, the Panharmonicon. Pan All right. If nothing else, we're going to get to see the... Oh, come on, Jamal. I mean, it's probably not the right play. I just want to see it. <laughs> Ooh, okay. We get the Flicker and push Chandra to one. Yep. Nice play. And okay. we still have a good blocker here, too. Yeah, that means... He has to use the Lightning Axe in his hand to get rid of the Eldrazi oh, Displacer. Has to, otherwise barring nothing game. else off of the Chandra. Okay, Bomat Courier turning. Courier's fine. It's fine, unexciting. Oh no, he's just he's doing the not two. not gonna cast. I, I mean, he may have Burn in hand, but Jamal has life gain in his deck. Yeah. This is not the kind of deck you want to just hope that you're gonna mize him out, out of eight damage. So he's gonna have the Lightning Axe pitch temper is a very nice play though. Yep. Lightning Axe so he does go down to five temper. here. Okay. This Goes is a reasonable plan. Five? Yep. Yeah, and then attacks five. him down to four, and then two Chandra pluses ends the game. But we're not going to get... He can't attack here if he... Well, now his Chandra's dead. All right, so we're putting him to four. There's no one spell that does that, so... No. I don't I, know. No, there is. There is. There's a four damage? Yes. There is a four mana, four damage to target creature there or player is, spell. but he's not playing that. No. Okay, there is. It's Nor in the, is it's it in that the, good. It's in the intro deck, but it is standard legal. I yeah. died to that in a standard MTGO league, and I was very salty. I, I Flame Lash. I believe that. it's called Flame Lash. Yeah, something like that. All right, Panharmonicon. The dream has All been right. lived. We are we are on the table. Kevin needs two very good draws from here on out. Uh, oh. Max Mitchell. Someone wants you to notice them. Senpai. What's up, Slater? All right, so we got a scrap heap. Which is no very attack. good. We got that 4-5 Advocate doing some great attacking and blocking duty. Oh, man, that's going to be a great play next turn, just activating that event. Yes. And we I have... want to see some Enter the Battlefield abilities. Come on. All right, we got another Duskwatch, and I believe even is that, a... Is that four? Just going all we're just, in? We're just going looking, and we found a Zulaport. That, you know, on the table is in game, but... That's just going to put him out of burn range very quickly. Yeah, especially with three sackable creatures. Yep. And he also has a Grasp of Darkness in hand, I believe, yeah. is the second card. Though at the moment it looks to be... We don't have enough black. Next turn, I'll have enough black. Yep. We, we have enough to black to cast either of the spells. We oh, can't yeah. cast both of them. That's what I also two. missed. We're getting buffed by the... Ooh, four or five lifelinkers. Probably decent. Yep, especially with another two non-blockers. Another scrap heap. Yeah, two non-blockers is... Oh, my gosh. Is that a second another? one? Another? Yeah. So it's a... This is a six seven. Is this a Tarmo vent coming in here? Yeah, I'm I'm just activating Shaman. I'm Vent getting in going for in. yeah, I'm getting in for six here. It's the safest of all the plays. Yeah, it looks like Jamal agrees with us. I think. I think we tap the hub if we're gonna do it. Leave up the green. Yep. Ooh, no, oh, he's no. going cutthroat. cutthroat. Cutthroat's fine. Okay, it's fine. I kind of like get green and seven there, especially because this isn't the win on the table. Yeah. But uh. You know, we can get I, in with the one Sylvan Advocate, and we can attack with all the Eldrazi Scions. At, at, at the same time, there's no chance he could possibly die from this point. He's throwing a damage yeah. up top sack. just to put himself to five. Okay, sack to get a trigger, activate the Dust Watch Recruiter. Oh, for the mana, sure. Yep. Ooh, found a Brood Monitor. All right, we so are we are very, one card. We just, just yeah, one card away. Upside down, it looks like.
Yeah, I, I think that Jamal has all, you know, totally stabilized here. And Case oh well, Smith. Broodmonitor's going to give six tokens too, isn't it? Wow. Oh, we're going to get to see it. All right. Um, so I say we, I am oh, biased. Oh, a second, a second cut through. Oh, okay. This might just be game with the triggers here. Yeah, so it's it two, might four. be. That's four here, game four. I, I am biased. Jamal is a good friend of mine. I, I love seeing the guy do very well. So, you know, I, I am rooting for him, but... Yeah, this is shaped up to be a pretty I good game of magic. I so wanted far. to see Panharmonica on that set. Here we go. Six tokens coming off of the Rude Monitor. And that should put us well out of burn That's range. That's two, four, now. six, eight, ten, twelve damage just from the sacks. We've got a one. Two, four, five Sylvan two, four, advocates. Five advocates. Yeah, and three and of those scions. Two of those scions can attack up. Oh, no. no we sacked we the sacked two. All the, yeah, we sacked the two. Yeah. You're right. Never mind. I'm pretty attack with I think you just attack with everything. Throw. Yeah, we can attack with the Zulu Port Yeah, we're just well. we're coming in with everything. In getting there. in with the Dust Watch Recruiter, getting in with the Zulu Port Cutthroat, attacking the Self and Advocates. Looks like we're yeah, blocking. So taking four, one five, advocate. six, seven on the table, and then we've got enough to sack to get yeah. rid of it. I believe. I think that should be game. All right. All right. Jamal takes it. We got to see it, a little panharmonic kind of action. That was all I wanted to see. We got there. It wasn't quite. I don't as think exciting. we even exciting. No, I mean. The Panharmonica, I don't think, was even needed there to win, but yeah. we got double triggers once, so I'm, I'm in for it. Yeah. We got to put six tokens on the floor. We got to have a lot of fun stabilizing and be able to turn the corner against the black-red aggro deck. So, yeah, that was pretty good. I think yeah, uh, like I think Kevin went a bit more mid rangey than I would like, but the Chandra turned out to be really good. The Chandra, again, he those two or three turns when the board was yeah. empty, if he... People of Kaladesh, whether you hail from distant fields or green belt towns or from our great city centers, this is your time. The Kaladesh Inventors Fair invites you, our best and brightest, to share your ingenuity with the world. As an official entrant, you may fuel your creativity with unrestricted ether access. Demonstrate that you can channel the ether into bold new creations. Showcase your ideas, your inventions, your genius. In this time when anything is buildable, you can invent your tomorrow today!